everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the StockSwish.com and today I'm reviewing Yahoo. Yahoo was a pick this morning and a trade that I did and actually I said the target was $31.21, $31. It looks like that's going to be the end of the story for this one. Uh, where exactly was the low? Oh, it almost got to 31. Well, I just traded this in the morning but it looks like it got 13 cents from the full-on target on the day. Very late in the day here now, it's 2.07. That's probably it for the end of the day for Yahoo here, but it really was a nice one this morning. And let's go over the trade. Let's get through this here, hold on. I actually didn't even do the first entry on this because I was in something else, and so I missed it. But the first initial entry on Yahoo was here. I did not do this. Then it dropped and broke and fell. And I was watching, 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 watching. And then it hit here. And actually, I took this late because of the fact that it actually hit so hard. And I was looking at something else and I was like, oh. And then I quickly, quickly, quickly grabbed it and did a nice tight stop. I did a 15 cent stop in this. And then it fell. So this had a beautiful, beautiful move into the first target whether you did the first entry, the second entry, or even a late entry in this, if you sized it right. I ended up doing this with a 15 cent stop. I was very happy with that. Then I got all out. Now, as it turns out, it actually did do what I call a kamikaze that I called in the room here. Kamikaze meaning not exactly perfect. Late, late train, late in the afternoon after 10 o'clock, and you could have almost scalped it. I think some people in the room did do this and scalped it. Here it was, and then this broke. But actually, if you stayed in where I told you to put the stop, uh, you could have stayed in this until the entire afternoon where it got down to 31.13. How interesting. I did not hold this all the way to 31.13, but if you took the very late trade that I called around 10.15 Eastern time and held it with the stop that I gave all afternoon, you actually got it down within 10 pennies of the full-on daily target. You would have had to be in the trade, though, for literally three hours or almost. It's up to you if you want to trade that late. But it held the stop. And if you made money quickly in the morning in this the way that I did and then wanted to risk a percentage of that in the later trade, you could have done it. So there was a lot of different ways to do this today. The interesting thing is that this did not do what I originally wanted it to do in the gap. But on the live day, it's set up right. Okay? So you can watch something into the open, see how it acts, and get the entry right if it meets the requirements of the numbers. I was very certain of 31.20 ish for the target today in this, and then I said $31. And that's that's exactly where it went. But the fast morning move went to 31.23, which was literally within two pennies of what I said was the target at 31.21. So I had a beautiful columnist today, beautiful, nice trade, had a lot of momentum, moved quickly, nice volume in Yahoo. It actually gapped last night. I saw the gap last night. If you wanna just quickly look at this here. I'll bring it up, was this is the situation last night. Actually, at one point it was gapping up. Then it was neutral, but then into the morning it ended up gapping down. So this is Melissa Arma with StockSwish.com. If you're interested in signing up for the Golden Gap class, it is this weekend, October 24th and 25th. You must take the Golden Gap class to become a member of the live trading room. This is a phenomenal time to trade with me. I'm trading very well. It's earning season. There's tons of stuff to do every day. If you want to make money between now and the end of the year for the holidays, for celebration and presents and really to make as much money as you can before the end of the calendar year 2015, it's a great weekend to take the class and learn my method during this quarterly earning season. Email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com for more information and sign-up materials. Have a great day, everyone.